It now falls to me to give uh, the final words of introduction to our speaker today. Um, I want to speak as the former chair of the philosophy department about Professor Zach joining us here at Lehman uh, and to say something, especially for those of you out there who are not her colleagues, about her work over the last few years. Um, Professor Zach came to us in the philosophy department in 2019. Uh, when she did so, it was something of a coming home. Professor Zach was an undergraduate at New York University, uh, where she was inducted into Phi Beta Kappa, and then did her doctorate at Columbia University, working with Sidney Morgenbesser. So uh, coming back to New York to join a philosophy department here was something very exciting for both the department and her. And she has had a distinguished career, working first at the University of Albany, and then for many years at the University of Oregon. But I think it's fair to say that coming back to New York and coming back to the Bronx, that homecoming fulfills an ambition of her to teach philosophy at a college like ours. Now, I said I wanted to speak about her career. I think it's important to understand where the content of these lectures are coming from in terms of her publications to date, because she's had an extraordinary record of publishing on, in my mind, some of the most topical areas in philosophy. So it's um, no secret uh, in speaking about Professor Zach today that she is one of the top philosophers in the world writing and speaking on the topic of race. The author of Race and Mixed Race from 1993, American Mixed Race, Constructing Microdiversity, 1995, Philosophy of Science and Race, 2002, The Ethics and Mores of Race from 2011, more recently, White Privilege and Black Rights, The Influence of US Police Racial Profiling and Homicide, from 2015, and Applicative Justice, a Pragmatic Empirical Approach to Racial Injustice, 2016. She is also the editor of the Oxford Handbook of Philosophy and Race, as well as the author of three textbooks on the philosophy of race, Thinking About Race from 1998, Race and Ethnicity, 2012, and Philosophy of Race, an Introduction from 2018. The latter was selected by Choice Magazine as an outstanding title from 2018. Professor Zach is also known for her work in feminist philosophy. Uh, she's the author of Inclusive Feminism, a Third Wave Theory of Women's Commonality, 2005. And she's the editor of Women of Color and Philosophy, a Critical Reader from 2000. Several of her edited collections also address the intersectionality of race and gender, including race, class, gender, and sexuality, the philosophical questions from 1998, and race, sex, their sameness, difference, and interplay from 1997. In addition to writing on the areas already mentioned, Professor Zach is in her own right a moral and political philosopher, writing on topics that are extremely relevant at any particular time to the history of the country. I would like to point out that in 2009, she wrote the definitive work, Ethics for Disaster, which was in response to Hurricane Katrina. And in 2018, she authored Reviving the Social Compact, Inclusive Citizenship in the Age of Extreme Politics, which was written in response in part to the 2016 election. Since then, more recently, she's the author of Progressive Anonymity, From Identity Politics to Evidence-Based Government, 2020, which of course addressed the ensuing presidency of the 2016 election. And most recently, in 2021, The American Tragedy of COVID-19. And anybody who knows Professor Zach knows just how incredibly industrious and prolific she is, and she believes she has, I believe, at least one book currently in the works on democracy, a short introduction for Oxford, 
and indeed from these lectures we may get another book yet again. Um, what I would like to point out is that in these works, Professor Zach has always been able to apply the rigorous standards of philosophy to the issues, problems, and mores of the age. And I think that that's something that is not true of many philosophers who are writing on some of those topics. And I uh, applaud her for being able to um, combine that rigor with uh, the topicality such that she has become a much sought after speaker across the country. Um, but I did want to make one point since we've alluded several times now to the postponing of these lectures for two years uh, due to the pandemic. Um, as former president uh, Daniel Lemons pointed out, Professor Zach was actually one of the first people I remember asking about whether the pandemic was going to disrupt things at Lehman College in the early days of 2020. And in her uh, most recent progressive anonymity book, she makes a point which I think is quite apt. In my final revision of the manuscript, I have found that the governmental response to this disaster sadly confirms the reasoning in this book, as well as my 2018 Reviving the Social Compact book. This is not a book about COVID-19, but where immediate relevance is evident, I have added brief comments. Well, she did respond to the pandemic in a book, but what is even more inspiring for us is that some weeks after the entire college, indeed CUNY, went online, Professor Zach created a new course, Disaster and Corona. And she taught that new course entirely online in the summer of 2020. And it meant that students from all over, not just Lehman, and not even just CUNY, but from all over, enrolled in her course because they wanted to discuss philosophically the Corona crisis and the response of the government or lack thereof. And I think that's, again, not something that one necessarily expects in a world eminent philosopher who is dealing with a pandemic on her campus. So uh, in that book, The American Tragedy of COVID-19 that came out the following year, she said something which I think was incredibly apt. She said, the X-ray nature of COVID-19 has revealed the United States to itself. In character, incompetence, superstition, and injustice, but also in dedication to caring for others and abiding resilience. The core of democracy held after the 2020 election, but vigilance is newly important and required. And that brings us almost up to date with her work. Um, I will add some more comments about her as a teacher and a mentor when I introduce the third lecture this afternoon. But I think now is the time for us to actually welcome our guest of honor and speaker for today, Professor Naomi Zak. The first lecture entitled, What is Intersectionality? <laughs> 